In this tutorial, you'll learn to connect and plot data from four sensors. You'll use a DHT11 to measure temperature and humidity, an HCSR04 to measure range, an HCSR501 to detect motion, and a GY521 to assess orientation. Get started by hooking a DHT11 into the breadboard. Before wiring the sensor, power the breadboard rails with the Arduino 5V supply. When you connect the sensor, be sure to check the labels. Connect the positive terminal to the 5V rail, the negative to ground, and the OUT or S pin to any of the Arduino digital pins. Writing code to interpret sensor readings from scratch isn't necessary. You can use a third-party library instead. Search the Library Manager for a DHT sensor library. Before selecting a library, click More Info to visit the repository where the library is stored. Once there, look for examples. These will show you how to use the library. Examples can also help you to identify if a library is right for your current skill level. This one looks good. Go ahead and install the DHT sensor library. First include the library header so you can use the library's classes and functions. Use a macro to define the sensor pin and an instance of the DHT class from the DHT library. In order to send sensor information from the Arduino to your desktop, you need to open a serial port and set the data rate. Set the baud rate to 9600 bits per second. Start the sensor with a call to dht.begin. You can graph data received from the Arduino on your PC using the serial plotter. The serial.print and serial.printline commands write text and numeric data to the serial port as ASCII text. The first line printed to the serial port determines the legend on the plot, so let's add some descriptive names using serial.printline. In the loop function, start by waiting for a tenth of a second. This ensures that sensor readings are taken and communicated at regular intervals. Then take temperature and humidity readings from the DHT object. Now that the readings have been taken, print them to the serial line. You'll also need to print a white space character. Finish by printing a new line character so that each set of readings appears on a new line. Now upload the code to the Arduino and open the serial monitor. Set the baud rate to 9600 to match the data rate set in the code. Check that your legend is printed on the first line, and each sensor reading shows in a new line below. Now that your data is streaming, close the serial monitor and open the serial plotter to graph the data. Verify your sensor readings with a test. Most Arduino sensor breakouts have a similar setup, so adding additional sensors is easy. Let's add an HCSR04 ultrasonic range detector. Orient the sensor so that it is free from obstructions. Connecting the HCSR04 is just like connecting the DHT11. The HCSR04 trigger and echo pins are wired to digital pins on the Arduino. Install the ultrasonic library for the HCSR04. Like the DHT library, the ultrasonic library requires you to include a header and define an instance of the ultrasonic class. Take a reading by calling the read function from the ultrasonic class and write the result to the serial line. Open the serial plotter to view the output of the ultrasonic sensor. The default measurements from this library are in centimeters. How accurate are the HCSR04 range measurements? Why are the HCSR501 motion detector using the same pattern you use to wire the DHT11? The motion detector is so simple it doesn't need a library. Simply define the pin, set it to input mode, and call the digital read function. When motion is detected, the sensor will send a 1 to the pin, otherwise it will send 0. Add an entry to the legend and print to the serial line to complete the sensor's code. The SR501 has a built-in delay between motion detections. You can adjust the delay using the screws on the side of the sensor. The fourth sensor is the GY521 breakout. This sensor uses I2C communication, so wire the serial data and serial clock pins to the same pins on the Arduino. These pins are labeled SDA and SCL on both devices. You'll also need to wire the sensor to the power rails. 
Install the Talkin MPU6050 library and follow the standard steps to read from the sensor. The exact commands required depend on the library, so always check the examples to learn which commands are necessary. The MPU6050 has an accelerometer and a gyroscope. Together, these readings can be used to estimate orientation. Use the Get Angle commands to compute the sensor's orientation. Test the sensor by rotating it in various directions. If you're interested in learning more about Arduino, subscribe to the CurioRes channel.